Hey there fellow traders, welcome back to Insider Financial, I'm Alex Carlson. In this video we are going to discuss the small caps on our radar. The first small cap on our radar is a big winner for our subscribers in 2023. The first time we brought you this one it opened up at $1.15 and five sessions later it was sitting at $2.81. This was a 144% move in a week. Then we brought it to you a month later when it opened at $1.72. It went on to hit $2.40 later that session and inside of two months it exploded all the way to $5.50. Another 200% plus move in two months. It was certainly one of our most exciting profiles of 2023. We want you to research it again tomorrow before the weekend. Pull up LRHC. It seems to have leveled off right around its current levels after some profit taking on the back of a massive leg up, making it a great time to take a look at it again. LRHC was established in 2004 as a comprehensive real estate services platform that seamlessly integrates residential brokerage, mortgage, title, and insurance services, bolstered by a cutting edge educational support system. The company boasts a distinctive brokerage model that places the agent at the center, providing them with a 100% commission structure. Their strategic focus is to drive substantial growth through expansion, seizing the opportunities presented by the evolving trends in the agency model within the real estate industry. La Rosa Realty's core operations are primarily within the vast U.S. residential real estate market, which according to Zillow Research, reached a staggering $43.4 trillion in 2021. This marked a remarkable increase of $6.9 trillion since 2020 and more than doubled the levels seen a decade ago. La Rosa Holdings serves as the holding company for a suite of agent-centric, technology-integrated, cloud-based, multi-service real estate companies. The principal entity, La Rosa Realty LLC, has earned its place in the top 75 residential real estate firms in the United States as recognized by the National Association of Realtors, the leading trade association in the U.S. real estate industry. The brainchild of the operation is CEO Mr. Joseph LaRosa, a successful real estate developer, business and life coach, author, podcaster, and public speaker. Wednesday, the company issued its earnings report that showed total revenue increased 91% year over year to $11.4 million for the gross quarter ending December 23rd. Gross profit increased 207% year over year for the fourth quarter. LRHC expects to generate $100 million of annualized revenue as a 2024 exit run rate. To read our full report on LRHC, click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com backslash LP backslash YouTube. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even si sign up just to see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. Second, I can't help but keep talking about WISA, which we covered in our Monday night video. The stock opened at $2.40 on Tuesday, and today was trading over $11 in the pre-market. The stock closed at $9.25, just an absolute beast. Congrats to all subscribers who have banked. Third is the big winner, uh, today's big winner um, that I covered in last night's video, INVO. INVO had earnings uh, last night. Uh, the, I said this, this, it has just a 2.59 million share float. Invo Bioscience reported revenue of 1.38 million for the uh, fourth quarter. That's a massive 397% increase over its uh, 2022 Q4 revenue of $278,142. Even after today's 139% uh, run, 
The market cap is still under $5 million. The stock opened today at $2.01 and ran all the way to $3.50. If you can't make money with that, I can't help you anymore. If you wanted more and stayed in, you're just playing greedy. Don't get greedy, especially in this market right now. It's a uh, difficult market. There's a handful of renters, which we've been covering on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and I've been bringing them before they run. That is the key. We're not Monday morning quarterbacking and we're putting them on your radar screen tonight before tomorrow's session. Fourth, I want to talk about, and I've been talking about a lot on this channel, is DJT, uh, Trump's uh, Truth Social deal. Uh, the good and the bad. Uh, I've been saying keep it on your radar screen and trade green. Uh, today we got that and the stock rebounded 20%. The key is trading green. Play the momentum. Don't be dip buying on these red days. You know, a lot of people were picking up the dip at 64, 50. I said, you know, it breaks 50, it's going to 40, breaks 40, it's going to 30. Follow the, the, the key numbers here. I talked about that last night uh, in uh, the penny stocks to buy uh, video, and I said our first, uh, you know, a new alert coming. Uh, again, you know, we're, we're all here about trying to make, let's make small caps great again, uh, and that's what we're doing here at Insider Financial. Fifth is a new stock that I want to put on your radar screen, VNDA, closed at $5.24 today, uh, up 29%, following con confirmation that Future Pack has submitted three proposals since February to acquire Vanda Pharmaceuticals. The most recent offer includes a cash consideration of $7.25 to $7.75 per share. Future Pack has also expressed willingness to explore ways to enhance its proposal further, and the offer remains uh, open for consideration by Vanda and its board of directors. Despite the attractive offer, Vanda Pharmaceuticals has rejected the bid from Future Pack, stating that it significantly undervalues the company. Bottom line, stocks in play. Let's see if they do get a deal done. Uh, if it does happen, I think it happens at much higher prices than current levels. Uh, so this one here is a longer term type swing. At Insider Financial, what we do here is we put stocks on your radar screen with potential outsized moves. As I repeatedly stated, there are always opportunities in the markets daily. The important thing is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money. The key is trading green, not red. We are looking for those momentum plays that have catalysts. It's all about finding momentum before it happens and riding that wave. That's what we're doing here at Insider Financial. And tomorrow, of course, as I do each and every trading day, I will be scanning the pre-market and if I see anything else, I will let subscribers know. But Thursday's main focus is LRHC. Make sure you read our full report and do your re research. To get, our small, uh, to get all of our small cap reports, we cover low floats, short squeezes, recent IPOs, biotech FDA plays, AI stocks, EV stocks, lithium stocks, and insider buying. Click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com backslash LP backslash YouTube or sign up at Insider Financial. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. Finally, thanks to Sure Thing Media for sponsoring this video on LRHC. Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation by Seller Hold Securities. It is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for joining me today on Insider Financial. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to never miss the latest insights and strategies. Until next time, happy trading. This is Alex Carlson signing off. Bye-bye.